and imminent development boom offers a once in a generation opportunity for private and non-government businesses uh, to come together and leverage off each other. I think the potential of the private sector, the innovation sector, to actually identify this area as, a as an area with huge potential to come and work and try things out and experiment with innovation um, is, is uh, very considerable. But this is the thing that has captured my attention for so long, as Tony pointed out, and that is that if we fail to translate more of our research into commercial outcomes, into marketplaces, into people, and better health outcomes, we will sell Australia short on jobs and on growth and on quality of life. By email, as well as having that capacity in medical research, we need to match that capacity on the research side with the capacity to commercialise what we learn about, to make sure that we have, we can, um, I guess, foster and, and uh, capitalise on the great inventions, the great intellectual capital we have on the research side with the commercialisation side. And that's the challenge that Bill has posed to us today. The penny has dropped not just in universities and business boardrooms, etc., but I think in the wider community there is now uh, a better understanding that knowledge-intensive industries and uh, technology, em embracing new technologies is the key to this country's future. And as we look forward to the next decade or so, what the country needs in terms of driving growth and jobs with it and sustainable growth through to 2030 and beyond, the health and medical research sector should be the quintessential example.